Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. The day has finally come for the Pawaki trip, and I'm ready. Um, I'm walking to the uh, uh, bus stop. Now, actually, I'm doing an on-demand uh, bus today where I call when I, a number, the number when I get to the bus stop, and they will uh, pick me up and take me to... Well, the train station where I catch the free bus, the regional whatever bus, the free bus, and then I, then the bus heads on up to Pawaki. Um, yeah, so I want to get there a little early. The I, I checked online and these buses, these on-demand, the on-demand service uh, starts at 5:30 in the morning. I got up at 5.30 in the morning this morning to allow plenty of time. Got my coffee, listen, uh, watch a couple of videos, watch a few videos, get me kind of going. Um, I'm really excited. Um, should be fun. I've done a lot of research on Kwaki. Um, I actually think that I'm going to go bowling by myself. I actually Googled that. Can you believe that? I actually Googled. Is it okay to go bowling by yourself? And the answer was yes. Uh, so I guess it's a lot everywhere to go bowling by yourself. So if that's the case, then I am going to bowl um, when I get up there. Now, I don't know. I forgot what time the bowling alley opens in the hotel casino thing. Um, so I may have to wait a while. I don't know. I'll have to see. Maybe I'll get one one game in or something. So there are things, fun recreational activities I can do by myself that I thought I would need um, a group of people to do. But it's really cool to know I can go bowling by my by myself. Um, as far as like if I were to play pool or something, billiards. Um, that, that I think I could probably do by myself too, but um, yeah, that wouldn't be any fun by yourself, so, the bowling, wow, that's exciting, I'm almost at the bus stop here, um, so I just wanted to get here a little early, um, yeah, I came prepared, I brought this bag with uh, some stuff, and uh, made sure to bring my charger number one priority charger uh, I ate this morning just a croissant that I bought yesterday at the store um, my earphones I actually brought a coloring book I probably won't have much time for that on the ride up, maybe on the ride back um, this is going to be one heck of a day I don't know if it's going to be that long of a day it's going to take at least half the day so, whew, music, there's a Santa Fe Waldorf, oh, there's, well, that's tomorrow, isn't it? No, that passed, that was last weekend, darn, okay, uh, okay, here I am at the bus stop, everyone, so I'm just gonna chill out here for a few minutes and then call, uh, for, these, this bus is a dollar uh, and uh, it will take me pretty much anywhere in Santa Fe I guess uh, I'm not sure about that but uh, I think so okay be back soon wow this bus schedule thing this whole modified or whatever is so confusing to me I'm here at Santa Fe Place Mall at like a quarter to nine in the morning and um, uh, there's nothing going on here. It's not open yet. It probably doesn't open until 10. I don't know. Maybe 9. But I thought about getting some breakfast, but there really isn't any breakfast place around here. Everything, everything is closed. Um, there's some cars here, but yeah, things won't be open for another, uh, well, at least 15 minutes. Probably another hour. So, um, yeah. 
gonna call the blue bus and uh, see what's going on with this uh, blue and red bus and all that. So so confusing to me. This is the mall at a quarter to nine a.m. I don't think I've ever been here this early before. Oh, hello. <laughs> I thought I was recording already. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I have arrived at, um, well, I, I did a segment that said, I arrived at the Santa Fe Police Mall. It is not open yet. Um, I'm going to hang out here. Uh, I just called the Regional Transit District, and I spoke to a woman, and I found out the next bus is not leaving for another two hours from the South Capitol Station in Santa Fe, arriving at Cities of Gold a half, exactly a half hour later. Uh, 10.53 a.m. is when it picks me up at South Capitol, and I have to take a bus from here up to South Capitol. Um, and that won't be until probably another hour and a half, so I have time to kill. Um, so yeah, I, I'm still here at the mall for another, uh, another at least hour and a half, uh, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the mall to open. I'm really not sure. I gotta check. I could check online and find out what time it opens, if it's at 9 or not until 10. And there's really no place to get coffee or breakfast <laughs> at this time of day. It's too early. Um, there is a coffee place in the mall, but um, I don't know if that's open. Uh, the rest of the mall is not. So we'll see. <laughs> I'll get there one way or the other eventually, hopefully. I think I will. If the woman says, it's just going to take a lot longer than I thought. I was um, under the impression that the bus left uh, South Capitol at 9 o'clock a.m. And I left my home at, or my house at, uh, or my apartment at uh, about 8 o'clock this morning. Came to the bus stop by me that's an on-demand bus so you have to call and it will just take you along the same route as the uh old bus what old route would have run um so it's not an on-demand they don't take you i mean as far as taking you wherever you need to go they only take you along the route that was um canceled <laughs> that makes any sense it's it's really complicated here it's much more complicated than i thought um, originally, so I will get there one way or another eventually, hopefully, and um, I have a long day ahead of me, so, okay, see ya. Okay, first, well, second leg of my journey, I just arrived here at Taco Bell to get some breakfast and some change, um, I believe they're open for breakfast, I think so, oh, yeah, breakfast served till 11 a.m., oh, good, I'm in luck, okay. I am a Taco Bell, and uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast. It's only like nine, nine fifteen. I don't know. So breakfast or till eleven a.m. Okay. Uh, see you soon. Okay, so here I am. Here's my breakfast. Like I included a Cinnabon, two Cinnabon. I tried one and it's so good, so, so good. I've never, I don't even know if I've ever had this. Cinnabon. Hash brown, my uh, breakfast crunch wrap, and this is my uh, Grande Toasted Breakfast Burrito. So I'm going to eat my crunch wrap and my hash brown, and then I've got a bag that I'm going to take right on. So I look forward to eating. I saw this at Oscar Street Service. I wanted to um, do this red alien with her, uh, red chilies in the back, hanging in the background. And uh, right next to Taco Bell, where I just finished my breakfast, I'm right near, there's a green sign over there. I don't know where you, what street you walk down to get there, but um, I'm just gonna take the bus a little short ways to get up to South Capitol. And then, uh, yeah, I should be on my way, but not until uh, 10.53, so I have a little time, um, so I'll see you soon. So here I am, standing by the bus stop, but I also saw this sweet motor, abandoned uh, motor sales place, sweet motor sales. Um, I've seen it before, and I knew it was abandoned, but um, I never had the chance to uh, film it. Oh, is it all blocked off here? Oh, maybe it's all blocked up. There's a super sound over there. I don't know if it's 
That might still be open. But, uh, yeah, oh, this is all blocked off, I see, so I can't really, uh, I can't get in at all. I can't, I mean, I, get in. I can't go up to the windows and film, but this is the sweetmotorsales.com. Buy cars. Maybe I'll walk around here. Just waiting for the bus. Glacia with Jesus Church. Uh, yeah, not too much here. Huh. So you could get up in there. Yeah, it's all. See, it's all blocked up. All kinds of stuff. Hmm. Well, I don't know much, much left. I don't know what much more I can say about this. Buy cars. It doesn't have much signage. I mean, I mean, it doesn't have, you know, on the building. It doesn't have much. It still has the signage, but uh, I don't know. Uh, just walk around to the back of it here. Here's where I had my breakfast over at Taco Bell. Yeah. Yeah, you can't get in here at all. Well, I don't think that's electrical or anything. You can get electric. Yeah. <sighs> no one's in the back of this, I don't think. And it looks like it hasn't been bad. Oh, is that a broken window? That looks like a broken window there. Or something. Or no, is that a window? Yeah, broken window. Yeah, bars over that. Right there. Where's over that gate? Oh, Geek Squad! <laughs> Let's take a picture of that. Right. Okay, well, a lot of these flowers growing. I'm glad to see the flowers growing. Uh, you know, the green grass and the flowers growing after all the rain we've had. So. Yep. Well, yeah. I don't know which one, yeah, I, that's, yeah, that's definitely a broken window, so I guess I'll leave you with that image, and uh, I will see you later on. Yeah. Lights. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a great Monday morning. Monday, I don't even know what day the week is. Like COVID. Wednesday morning, hump day. Happy hump day. And I'm so Still on my way to Pewaukee. Hello, so here I am. I have made it to the Cities of Gold Casino here in Pewaukee. It's all the way at the end of like where you exit the highway. Uh, here, we'll step back. You can see the sign there. Um, there this is like over there is the hotel. Bowling Alley opens at 11. It's about a quarter to 11 a.m. now. This is, oh, the bowling alley is a little to the left, I'll show you. And um, I made it here, it's a very, it's actually a lot shorter uh, trip than I thought it was. Um, and there are other towns I can go to that are, one's just a few, a couple miles away and then the other one is, um, the other two are quite a distance from here. So, um, I think I'm gonna do some bowling by myself, I think. I'm, uh, the farmer's market is going on, we passed it, and uh, but it's like a quite a walk way down this, uh, there. I think there's a sidewalk most of the way, but I'm not sure. But most of the other stuff is down towards the other end of like where you exit. Um, yeah, so here I am, uh, and I'll uh, be, with, be back real shortly. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to show you this, this bull, yeah, this bull, um, ooh, my bag, Got Taco Bell breakfast in there, get it, I'm gonna leave that alone, 
I'm not really sure how much I don't really want to walk down there, but the reason I came up here is to go to Farmer's Market. Here's the smoking section, I guess. There's no smoking in the casino. I don't smoke anymore, but that was a problem. Like, the smell was just so strong in there. I didn't even like the last time I came here. I didn't want to stay in the casino area. This is the Strike Gold Bowling Center. As you can see, it's got a snack bar and an arcade. So I'm going to do that over there. This is, see right here, Cities of Gold Casino. That's the entrance to the casino. And this over here, it's not attached to the hotel, so you can see it over there. Um, I, thought, I was thinking it was attached to the casino and the bowling alley, but it's not. It's over here to the right of the uh, bowling alley and casino. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go in here. Bowling alley should be open in about probably 10 minutes or so. So, okay. I'll be back.